So it's Club the Santa with Yvonne van der Lerken. Um, you just won uh, yet again. I know this has been a, a popular race with you. You've done many times before the uh, International Duathlon here. Uh, nice way to start the year. Just uh, before we start to talk about the rest of the year, just talk us through uh, today and how it went for you. Uh, actually, I just had a big operation two and a half weeks ago. So I just came off Ironman Western Australia. And uh, yeah, just had my winter sleep, sleep actually. So I haven't done any training at all, just, just really a little bit. And it's always good to uh, just start the season kind of. It's like kicking off and just getting awake from the winter sleep. And uh, yeah, it's just always a really good event and I really enjoy doing this. It's very short and it's painful, but it's just a lot of fun, so yeah. Um, I know you're, you're a regular on the island. Uh, you train here uh, a lot. One of your sponsors yes. is based here. Uh, are you now going to be based in Lanzarote for a, for a period to, to do some training? Um, yeah, last year we were here for three months, so December, January, February, beginning March, and this year we will be here for seven weeks, so we're staying with Twice Worth Lanzarote. It's a, a li very personal uh, little accommodation with a swimming pool and everything, so I really enjoy staying here on the island. I think Lanzarote is one of the best islands to uh, to do the build-up for the whole season, it gives you a lot of uh, strength for the whole year. And and yeah, I've seen it every single year that I do very well on the bike because of all the weeks of training here. So it's never easy here. You can't do yeah. this training session here, but you, you get very tough from it. So I think it's very good, uh, very good training place. I think it's one of the best actually in the world. Yeah. Uh, and you've had some really strong results the last couple of seasons, sort of almost getting back, it seems, to, to the form you had maybe around 2008, 2009, when you were really putting in some fast time. So it must be very pleasing to, to get back to that that form. Did you yeah. put that down to anything in particular or? Um, yeah, I really had a dip like 2000, 2011 around, 2000, yeah, 2011, 12, wasn't doing that well personally. And then I got to train with Siri, Siri Lindley and since then I've just been doing very well. And last year I really had the feeling after training here for three months that this would be my year, 2014. And and it showed in the Abu Dhabi race, so I was running head to head with Melissa Housefield and just had an amazing form already and I was so excited for the whole season and then I had the huge crash and smashed my collarbone in several places and actually I've been racing the whole 2014 with, with pain, I could hardly move my arm, I couldn't brush my teeth without pain, I couldn't put my ponytails and yeah. my boyfriend had to do that. And yeah, I just got out two weeks, uh, two and a half weeks ago, and now I can move my arm. And the swimming is so lovely. I had my first open water swim yesterday. And it's just so amazing to not have any pain. I'm just so thankful uh, to be healthy again. So I'm expecting a lot for the 2015 season, yeah. definitely. Um, the season calendar seems to get bigger and bigger, and there's so many, even more and more race options. Uh, what's your sort of plan for for the year? Because one of the events that's that's been added this year is a uh, as an Ironman in the Netherlands and obviously you're a Dutch yes. athlete is that something that uh, you'll be potentially hoping to to fit into your schedule if possible? Uh, yes it's definitely worth talking about it so um, I don't have an answer yet if we're going to get to a deal so I do hope so it would be I think it would be good for the race itself and for me it's only a win-win situation for both parties I guess and of course it would be an honor for me to be there at the, the first edition um, so I definitely have it in my mind so we'll um, we just planned our whole year and it's very full. Uh, people that know me know that I race a lot. Uh, this will be my 15th season of racing. So I kind of like, I so love racing. So, and since I've been doing this so long, I think my endurance, my level is just so good. I can, I've done so much work that I just like to race a lot and maybe do a little less training. Uh, I have so much kilometers in my pocket that I think it works fine for me. Yeah. So my schedule is very, very full. <laughs> um, so where will we sort of see you, where, where your first big races uh, of the year going to be uh, sort of over the next two or three months for Yeah, example? the first two races will be Challenge Dubai and followed up by Ironman Melbourne. Um, so I'm just coming up uh, my Ironman Florida win. It's a shame uh, that the race won't be there for pros anymore. I 
I've won it for a third time. It's really one of my favorite races. So I need some more points to qualify, but I hope to do a good race in Melbourne and then I'm qualified for Kona. Yeah. And then the monkey is off my shoulder. How do you say it in English? Something yeah. like that, right? So that would be good. And then you will see like 10 other half, halves. I love racing halves because you recover so fast. It doesn't cost you that much. So I'm probably another three long distance races. Yeah. Well, uh, good luck with that. And uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, performing well uh, again. And, and maybe I'll get to add a few more of those sub nines onto that list because yes, you're, you're moving up so. and up of that table. I do hope uh, so. You're not too far from the top. So uh, keep up the good work. Yes, and, uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a good awesome. season. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.